Hi everyone, Jen here, how are you? How are all my little crafting buddies? I hope you are all well. Happy New Year, I know it's like the 26th, oh my God, it's gone so quick. But um, this is the first chance I've had to do any videos. So um, I hope everybody's well. Uh, just a quick update. I am now in my third and final year of university. Hooray! So I finish in May um, and hopefully I'll graduate. <laughs> uh, it's been, honestly, it's just been a, a bit of a nightmare. Um, yeah, but you know, I've done it three years. It's gone really fast. It's a lot of work and a lot of using the old brain, but you know, I've survived. Anywho, I'm at uni, the, I'm at uni with um, a lovely lady called Cheryl and we're the oldest in our class, it's hilarious, but um, you know, we're, we keep each other sane and it's her birthday, so I'm gonna make her a pouch and I thought, I'm gonna make it anyway, let me film it. So I made one for myself and she liked it this is my one. It's just the old sack that I've been using and some leather. And I put a J for my name, which is Jen, on the back there. And I squared off the bottom. I also added a tassel. But what I've noticed is this. I only did this set. I'd made this, I think, in November. I've hardly used it. And look, I didn't. I haven't got a serger. Maybe it would have been good if I um if I surged it. So I'm gonna have to make another one for myself. I'm quite sad about that. Or I don't know. I could fix it somehow. I suppose tuck it in and sew it along. But yeah, I'm gonna make one for Cheryl because it's her birthday. I think on Saturday. Um, these are some other ones that I made. So this one's just the sack again with some suede and tassel in leather, number one in suede. Um, inside, this was um, a shirt, just an old shirt, and the labels, the same way, I've done a tutorial on how I do the labels, so that was that one. This one, I, square, I didn't square off the bottom of this one. This one I've squared off the bottom. Again with the the old shirt label number one. This is leather and leather. This is really gorgeous soft leather. So it was an old jacket that I cut up, and this one I love this one. Again with the shirt inside, and I don't know why I've done two labels there, but never mind. Um, some distressed leather, which is really nice, and the soft leather again, and a little tassel. So yeah, I'm making, what I'm doing is I'm going to do a craft fair in, I think it's May, so I'm taking my time in May because I've still got um, some time to go with my university work, but at least I know everything that I have to do so I can like sort of, you know, prioritise things. But yes, yeah, so I want to make some stuff to take to the craft fair in May, so I'll be doing quite a few of these little bags and I'm going to make one for Cheryl, she saw mine and she liked it, so I'm going to make her one. And for her one, I'm going to use the sack again. And she likes the colour green, so there's green on this bit of the sack, so I'm going to use that. And I have got this beautifully soft leather jacket. It's gorgeous, it's so soft. So I'm going to cut that up. I already cut out the lining because I wasn't sure if it was leather. It's that soft, but um, you can tell by the inside it is. It smells like leather. Yeah, so, so basically all you need is some leather, sack, I got these sacks off eBay, um, leather jacket off eBay, this was I think £5, but if you go to the boot fair you can get, there's loads of leather and suede, especially in the summer, go to the boot fairs in the summer, you can get leather and suede jackets for like £5, I've even got them for a pound before, um, the sacks were, how much were they, they were I think, 20 pounds um, I think I said it in one of my other videos I can't remember how much they were but if you look at one of my other videos where I use this 
um, I think I said it there so yeah and for the lining I'm going to use this this was um, an old sheet that I got from a boot fair I think it was 50p alright so you just get your seam ripper and depending on the style of jacket this one's a bit different so yeah I would take the the arms off first because you want to get as much out of the leather as possible so for this one I would take off the arms try and keep them whole then I would go along the shoulders and down the side so then that you get that panel so you'll have this panel with the arms you go along there as well um, I'd take off the collar and then do the same on the other side okay so everything's cut up now this was um, the cuff the neck all this can be used if you can't use it you can always cut it up and use it for stuffing pillows and things cushions sorry so that's the cuffs one part of the front that would make a really nice bag that was um, around the back the other part of the front and the sleeves so one of these pieces or two of these pieces will make the pouch that I'm going to make so there's plenty of leather here to make your bags so you only need a small piece okay so measurements we're going to have it <clears throat> let's see and try and keep it around this size so 10 by five and a half yeah we'll just do so 10 by five inches for the sack and for the leather we're going to do it 10 by say three and a half no, just say 10 by 3. So, for the sack part, it's 10 by 5. For the leather, it's 10 by 3. And for the lining fabric, we'll do it. 10 by 8 or 10 by 10 and then we'll just trim away the excess okay so all the bits are ready we've got two for the lining I've made them bigger than I need and then I'll trim them down um, and then that's the back and the front of the top and then this is the, the bottom bit back and front and a zip and then another piece to make a tassel so the first thing we need to do is attach the lever to the sack piece so you put them right sides together and just stitch along and do the same for the other side. Okay, so the next thing is to just do a top stitch to keep it secure like I've done here just a little top stitch okay so that's top stitching done 
I love this sewing machine. This is um, the Quantum Stylus 9960. Um, the stitch size is um, four. Okay. Next, oh, something that I forgot to say is we're going to put some padding just to make it more stable. So I'm going to go and get, you can use all sorts. You can use, um, what's it called, the facing. You can get the thick facing iron-on facing, um, you can use, I don't know, anything fleecy, so I'm going to see what I've got, um, you can also use batten if you want, so this is what I have, it's a fleecy material and it's, um, you can iron it on, I'm not going to iron it on, what I'm going to do is just cut a piece to fit the top of um, the pouch, and I'm going to do like a stay stitch all the way around. I just want that bit a bit thicker because you can see through it as well. So I'm going to quickly do that and then I'll be back. So this is how it looks. So it's nice and um, it's nice and thick now. So next I'm going to do the number because um, I do like that on there. So I've got my little template. And um, I'm going to take a little scrap of leather. Okay, so that's all done. As you can see, I love the stitching from this machine, I must say. This is, um, again, number four. When I did round the edge um, to do the stay stitch, I put it on number five, and I think it goes up to number six, actually. But, um, yeah, so I've done that. The next thing to do is um, I'm going to actually sew my, my label onto one side of the lining quickly and then I'm going to attach the zip okay so I've sewed that on I messed up a little bit at the top there you can see it but it's on anyway I'm not going to worry about that okay so next I'm going to attach the zip okay so this is it now when the zips attached um, I'm sure most people know how to attach a zip, so that's why I didn't feel myself attaching the zip, basically. So, the zip is attached and it has been top stitched. I do not top stitch very well, as you can tell. It's not even, but it's okay. So that's the inside and that's the outside. So basically, all we have to do now is put the right sides of each piece together. I'm going to line it up to make sure that the because um, I'm no good at measuring. Everything's just like either a bit under or a bit over with me. I'm going to try and line up those pieces because with my one, I didn't. And you can see they're not lined up. But I knew this was just like my test bag. But I really do wish I took the time to actually line it up because it looks weird it's still nice but it does look weird um yeah so i have to line these up like that and i normally start just oops I normally start just here and go down and go all the way around but leave a gap in the lining here for turning I've had nothing but trouble, I've had camera trouble, I'm just, I'm fed up now. <laughs> so basically I've sewn all the way round and I've left um, a gap there for turning. So I'm going to turn it um, and then I will stitch up that gap and then we'll make the tassel. Right, all I did is just sew straight across there. Um, 
you can hand stitch it, it's up to you, and then tuck that in. Get in the corners. And the bag is done. Uh, all you need is your lever that you want to use and um, a hot glue gun or fabric glue or something like that. Decide how big you want it. This will be it. So first what I do is cut a piece off. There's a couple of ways you can do them. The way I'm doing it is, is easier. Because what I used to do is just cut a piece half down, flip it over. But because um, you've got to actually put it through the zip, so what I do now is I cut a piece off that's um, just big enough to fit through the zip like that. Just make sure it does fit through. Yes. So I put it through like that. Let me power that up. And then I'm going to glue those two bits together. So you get your cutter or your scissors, it's up to you. And you just go up nearly to the top, all the way along. All the way to the end that's okay so you're going to glue those two bits together Oops. like so and then you're going to glue just along here and roll it round it's very simple bit like so and then just glue all the way across Finito. I'm sure she'll love it. It's taken me way longer than it was meant to take me. These are really, really cute bags. You can make them, put them on your Etsy store. You can take them to your craft fairs or just make them for your family. Okay, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.